Tamasinde, head of uh, container and operations. Yeah, we've now just received uh, in the last uh, 13 hours, we received the new pulse. The last port of loading was in Shanghai, the call is Mombasa. The next call is the Dar es Salaam, then it moves on to Kutkalang in Malaysia. And the fact that this vessel has made a leading call in the port of Mombasa is a clear communication to the world that Mombasa port is on as a global port. Uh, with over 40 shipping lines, um, calling the port of Mombasa, connected to the world to over 80 ports in the world. In the last two, in the last two months, we've received uh, new calls. This is the third one. We have uh, Zimline. We have uh, uh, one line which have called the port of Mombasa. It's because of the efficiency that the port has registered in terms of a ship turnaround time, which for the last three years has been in the range of two days, like eight hours. So, and in the shipping, basically ship turnaround time is very critical. It's when now the ship moves to business to be made. It's when the margins of consignments are being delivered to the consignees. They could be raw materials, it could be medicaments, which are very important to economies and humanities. So as a port, it is also a gateway to East African countries. That is um, Kenya itself, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, DRC Congo, South Sudan, and part of Southern Somalia, and uh, Southern Ethiopia. World markets, the thoughts of if the country is now also connected to the world as a source of growth. So that's how it works.